Hello friends. Today we will talk about enterprise structure or organization structure in SAP ML S4 HANA. So when we talk about structure of the company, first comes in our mind that how the structure looks like, how the business will be, right? What are the different departments will be operating within the organization? And what are the different product line they are using in their company? Right. So this is what the example we have taken. So for example, Reliance Industries have multiple business. So I've just taken the example of few, aerospace, global energy, and digital. So Reliance Aerospace will have different business. They will have different product line. Okay. Maybe they are directly man, uh, buying the product and they are packing it and selling it to the customer. Or it can be possible that they are buying the raw material, they are manufacturing the product, and then they are packing it and then they are selling it. So it depends on the company to company and business to business. And every company will have a purchase department who will be responsible for procuring the material, means purchasing the material, any material, whether it is a pen, paper, or machines, or laptop, computer, or the big, big machines which they are using in their industry for any type of materials. Only purchase department will be responsible. And this purchase department will buy for the company for a particular plant. So whatever the use they have in different plant, maybe in plant one, they have different business. Maybe in plant two, they will have different operation. So independent. So they can use different, different uh, materials and different, different activities in both these two plant. And each plant will have different storage location. So what are they doing with this storage location? They're storing all the material. So storage location is a storage area where they are storing all the materials. Same thing for this plant, you can see they have two different storage locations. So there can be one storage location, two storage location, or it can be five or 10 also. So it, it will again uh, completely depend on your business, size of the business, so, or oh, based on their business, what is the size of warehouse they required. So based on that, they will create different storage locations. So this is what we have talked about Reliance Aerospace. Now in the same way, when we talk about Reliance Global Energy and Digital, maybe they have only one purchase department and from there they are procuring the material for both the companies. And they have only one plant. And for within this plant, they have only, they have total three storage locations. So these three storage location is enough to store all the materials, whatever is required for plant one for both the companies. So this is how the basic structure of the company looks like for any organization, for any business from MM point of view. Okay. Now, now let's see how this structure can be designed in SAP system. So when we will get into SAP S4 HANA system, when we will log in, I will show you all these in details. But prior to that, let's talk about this now. Now there will be a client. There will be the company code, there will be the plant, and there will be the storage location. So this is the hierarchy of the structure in SAP. So always in the hierarchy, always the client will be in the top. Second will be your company code. Third hierarchy will be your plant. And fourth hierarchy will be your storage location. Okay. Now here we have taken the example of company code. So I have taken the example of two company code based on two industry. Okay. So it can be same, it can be different. And for these, for the, for the, for Reliance Power and then Health, they can have two different organizations, purchase organization, or it can be one, it depends. And for every purchase organization, they will have the plant and they will have the storage location. So this is how the initial design of any enterprise structure. So this is what I wanted to share with you. And in the next, video, we will get into the system directly and I will show you how can we design all this in SAP S4 HANA system. If you have any question which you want to share with us, please comment. We will revert back with the answers. Thank you for joining this. Thank you, everyone.